do this? I do. I got to. I can't stand all that damn sunscreen and all that bullshit all over my all over my rods. So, I come out here with my sprayer and a really soft brush and I have to scrub take the reels off and I scrub my rods and of course I clean my reels as I've always said do not because I ain't buying your used shit then do not put your stuff up against the side of your boat, your reels and your rods, and just hammer them with the hose. Don't do that. Okay. The reason I can get top dollar for any of the tackle that I end up turning over every couple years is because I take care of my stuff. All right, this is a degreaser. I use degreaser for about everything. And this is what I do when I'm not fishing. I always tell everybody, I've got plenty, plenty to do. Old Mellow Reel, a subscriber, just made a comment. About why don't I just do the best of? Why don't I do a best of this and do a best of that? Well, that will be about four or five days of, of editing. These videos just don't pop out of the, you know, the GoPro all by themselves. That's the reason why the really big channels have professional editors. They've got editors. They've got people producing their videos. Many of the videos that you watch on YouTube, you don't even know what they are. Many of them are media companies. I just watched a video the other day. How much money or how do gun channels, since they've been all demonetized because of the liberal snowflake, you know, uh, attitudes these days have all been demonetized. How do they make money? How do they continue? Well, it's really simple. A lot of them are media companies. Right, and they swap videos. They do a video about a gun, okay, and they do a quality, 100% quality video about a gun. And the gun manufacturers or distribute, dis, distra, what is the word? Distributors literally pay them, right? I don't get paid diddly squat. That's the reason why on my last video I talked about how important it is if, to do reviews on stuff that I use and like by visiting my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. I know people hate to hear that. Oh my God, they thumb down you. Oh yeah, you're trying to be like a commercial. No, I'm not. It's stuff I would have bought anyhow. I'm getting any kind of money to support all these hours that I put into YouTube since 2007, all by the ads that get run on my YouTube channel. That's it. That is it, folks. There is no donators. There is no sponsors. There is nothing. I'm a terrible editor. I really don't have the patience to do tons and tons of editing. I use the easiest software because some of the harder stuff I just could not get. I mean, I just didn't understand it. 
Yep, there's these people that are that go to college to learn film and video. But I have been wanting to literally get an editor if I wanted to ever really get into this. I had a guy who was a pro, pro photographer on the boat uh, last week, and I mentioned it to him. He didn't seem like he was wanting to jump at it, though. You know, these guys got to really know their stuff when it comes to this editing. I watch a channel, believe it or not, up in, like, Wisconsin of nothing but an outboard shop. And I love their format. Their format and the guy that's editing their videos and producing them, he's doing it like Orange County Choppers. I showed Orowalk. I sent Orowalk it. I don't think, I don't know if he was impressed or not or cared, but that's what I would like to do. Maybe two days a week, at least one day a week. You know. But I just do my videos on a computer, no 4K, it will blow up my computer. 2K, I remember trying 2K. Well, that didn't work very good either. So, Mellow Reel said, oh, since they're slow, you ought to do that. Yeah, that's going to be hours and hours and hours and hours of editing. You're not going to just see a video straight up. That's the reason people walk around with their cell phones and do live streams. Because live streams, there is no editing. That's the beauty of it. My dad sort of turned me on to it. That's the beauty of it. But what do I get? <laughs> Nobody gives two hoots. I do the live streams, nobody cares. I've mentioned this before about how to take care of your tackle. I've mentioned it in many videos. Just don't throw your stuff in the corner of the garage. But pro that's probably what 90% of everybody does. I don't. I'm doing a little rearranging right now of reels and tackle and I'm cleaning up these that are covered in fish slime and mayonnaise hands and sunscreen covering them. That's why another reason I can't stand summer. God dang sunscreen. So this is pretty much just a nothing. This is just to answer mellow reel. I got another trip coming up this week. I just did an all day or yesterday with some really great people. Had a really good time. Daughter, son's 40th birthday, and mom and dad. Again, I was kind of taken back. I think this gal said she was in the Navy. I mean, never caught a fish before in her life. Caught her first, her first fish was a sea bass about that big, sitting at the jetties, just a little sea bass. And I, I said, is that your first fish ever? She goes, yeah, that's my first fish I ever caught in my whole life. I mean, she looked like she was damn near high 30s. I mean, she was 30 something years old. Mom never caught a fish. Mom hooked a shark, bonnethead shark. The stereotypical stuff in the summer at the jetties. We were up behind the shrimp boats. We did that, had a couple jumpers. And then, I mean, it was rough as a cob out there in the beginning, just first thing in the morning. Oh my God, east, southeast. We got a weather pattern that's just bringing that east-southeast wind right into shore. And it's probably because of the hurricane and the tropical stuff that's been in the Gulf of Mexico. So, I did that. I'm supposed to, leave. I got to go back for my eye on Tuesday. The doctor wants to check his work. I don't know. Eh. Eh. I keep looking. I don't know. I don't know if it's, per it's, it's not, per this eye is not perfection by any means. Maybe Wednesday, I think guy who works nights out in Arizona is going to be here and we're going to do one on Wednesday or something, a shark fishing, you know. It's no big deal for me. I mean, I basically just, you know, rig lines constantly and drive the boat, you know. So that's what I got going on this week. So Tuesday, doctor, Wednesday. So I'm staying plenty busy. I've got videos that I could do. Here's what's coming up. Kicker update. This is what's coming up. TIG welding. Yeah. MIG and t TIG welding. 
Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. That's going to be an ongoing kind of thing. Is, and then, of course, there's phases of what I'm doing to my kicker. And a lot of it has to do with you just can't get shit. You can't get nothing. And then, of course, I don't want to do the kicker job, I don't believe. Now, it's just so hot. I don't know if I'm going to be out, out here doing this in the heat. It might end up being the middle of this winter. I don't know. But I got a kicker project update. If you even remember what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't even know if anybody remembers. But I got a huge project that I'll be doing because of my kicker. And let's see. Other than that, I'm coming up on 100 hours on my engine here shortly. I think I got about 80 right now. And uh, I'm going to be doing my 100-hour oil change. I'm going to be pulling out the anodes. I'm going to do the anodes every 100 hours. I'm going to pull them out check it. I can't wait. I run my engine in the barrel. You know, every single trip when I come home, i got to run through 75 gallons worth of water. And I cannot wait to pull out those exterior anodes and see how nasty they are. I bet you already they're just gummed up with salt. And it doesn't matter. I'm running it in a barrel through wonderful fresh water. Although my water comes from a well and it is extremely hard. So that's that. Uh, so this is for Mellow Reel. I got stuff going on. I got plenty going on. I got things I can do every single day that I'm not standing on that deck. This will be an unedited update. Well, I probably have to make a few edits. And uh, that's it. So thanks for asking, Mellow Reel. I'll see you on the next one. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'll go fishing, scare away the blues. I'm going fishing.